Hello everyone, this is Reshma from Edureka and today's video is on what is Tableau. This is going to be a really good video to get started with Tableau. So let's get started with this session. So this is what we're going to cover in today's session. We will start by understanding what is Tableau, just a brief definition of it and what are the Tableau trends and the different products in the Tableau software suite. Then moving on, we'll understand the need of data visualization with Tableau and how Tableau visualizations look like. So what is Tableau? Well, Tableau is known to be a groundbreaking data visualization software created by Tableau software. So with Tableau, you can easily visualize your data. Now your data mostly lies in form of spreadsheets in rows and columns with numbers and text. So it is hard to just identify problems and come up with solutions just by viewing numbers and text on a spreadsheet. And that is why you need to visualize that data in order to understand how your business is going, what are the problems and how can it be solved and also identify the interdependencies as well. What Tableau does is that at the back end, it writes optimized SQL queries in order to fetch your data from the database and then present it to you in a visual form which is very attractive and also very insightful. So in order to summarize, it's a data visualization software that makes our work very, very easy. And plus it is also very easy to use. For example, let me connect to the Superstore data in Tableau. So there are measures and dimensions in Tableau, which are nothing but different fields that you can use to create your visualizations. Measures are usually numeric entities or numbers, and dimensions are text. So let us see in our Superstore, which is the customer segment that makes the huge or most purchases. So just drag and drop the segments to the columns and we want sales in rows. And you can see here directly that the consumers or individual buyers are the ones who purchase most of the products as compared to corporate or home office customers. Now let us see what are the products that they purchase. And there you go. It has listed out different products they buy. So these are the items that are purchased on the Superstore with the bar chart indicating their number of sales. Well, you can also sort it according to your own convenience. And this is how you do it. Now if you just hover on a bar, you can see the details as well. Now let's just find out which are the most profitable items. Just drag and drop the profit to colors. And the color legend over here indicates the darker the orange, the more is the loss. And darker the blue, the more is the profit. And here we have phones with the darkest blue. And if you see in this case, tables, which is one of the highest selling products is under loss. Now these are the things that you can understand by visualizing and Tableau is a very good tool for that. Moving on, Tableau is also a leader among all the BI tools. Now this is Tableau's fifth year to be on the leader's chart or in the leader's quadrant in the Gartner's Magic Quadrant. Now it is among the leaders and it has beaten other BI tools like Microsoft Click, Salesforce, etc. Now let us take a look at the Tableau product family. Now the main development tool in this Tableau software suite is the Tableau desktop. So with Tableau Desktop, you can connect to numerous amount of data sources. You can connect to your data in your local system. You can connect to cloud databases. You can connect to cloud applications. You can even connect to big data with Tableau Desktop. And this is a very good development tool. This is where you create all your visualizations and your dashboards that you want to share across your organization or with your friends. Then we have got Tableau Reader. This is again just for viewing purpose. If someone has created a dashboard or a workbook in Tableau Desktop, you can view it in the Tableau Reader. Now you can interact with the visualization with filters, but you cannot make any changes to it. Then we have got Tableau Public. Well, Tableau Public is also used for creating dashboards and worksheets. The only difference is that you cannot save your workbooks in your system. You have to publish it in the Tableau server where it will be available publicly. And it has also limitations to connect to data sources, unlike that of Tableau Desktop. Then we have got Tableau Server, which is an enterprise level sharing tool. 
So if you want to share all the dashboards across your enterprise or organization, you can use Tableau Server for that. It is secure and reliable. Then we've got Tableau Online. Now this is just Tableau hosted in cloud. So you can view your workbooks and your projects that you have created in Tableau Desktop in your Tableau Online. Moving on, let us understand the need of data visualization. So there is a very good example to make you understand why do we need to visualize this data. And this is the Anscombus Quartet. Now these are the X and Y points that you can plot on a graph. And it is there for four different quadrants. Now if you take a look here, the numbers are almost the same. The sum, average, and standard deviation are completely equal. So you might be thinking that when we plot these points on a graph, the graph will look pretty much the same. But when you actually plot it, you can see it is completely different. The lines formed by these points are completely different from each other. And you wouldn't have known that unless you have plotted it and visualized it. And that is why you actually need to visualize your data in order to understand the differences in situations. And that is how you come up with different insights and solutions to your business problems. And that is how Tableau exactly helps you. Now let me show you a sample workbook and I will let you know what ways you can make visualizations with Tableau. So here is a workbook on the world indicators. So before making the workbooks, first thing you need to do is connect to your data source. Now this is a world indicator data set. In the first worksheet, we're going to find the relationship among the population and birth rate. You can create a new sheet from over here. You can click here and it will open a new worksheet for you. Now I have dragged and dropped latitude and longitude over here. These measures help you to plot an actual map in a Tableau worksheet. If your dataset contains any geographical location, Tableau detects it and it can plot a map just like this. For example, we have country here. Well, this is just a simple visualization, like a simple scatter plot with varying colors and sizes, but it gives you a lot of information. Here, bigger the circle means bigger the population, and the color legend description is over here. So if the birth rate is above 3%, it is red. If it's between 1.5 to 3%, it is gray. And similarly, the description is over here. So clearly we can find out here that even if China has a huge population, the birth rate is quite low because it's blue. You can see in countries in Africa that even though the size of the circle is quite small, it is red, which means birth rate is quite high over here. Here you can get an indication that the population is low, even though the birth rate is high. And this could only lead to the fact that the mortality rate in these countries is very high. So you can identify threats just by visualizing the data. And you can conclude here that there might be fatal epidemics or famine spread it in the countries because of which the population is less but birth rate is high. Similarly, if you want to view the infant mortality rate in different countries in Africa, you can visualize it like this. The color legends are over here. For birth rate, it is blue. For infant mortality rate, it's orange. For health, it is yellowish. And for life expectancy, it is purple. Similarly, you also want to see the care spends. So if you want to check which countries spend more than 14% of GDP on healthcare, you can edit this part, edit the text of the question here. You can even add filters to adjust the threshold value, which is 14% in this case. Let's drag it to 8%. You can see that the text also gets changed here because I've included the variable in the question. And it looks like every country spends at least 8%, just leaving the African countries, which explains the health situation. Now let's check the technology worksheet. You can use filters to drill down a single country view. This is for Argentina. Now you can make dashboards to combine all the worksheets together. Just drag and drop sheets to create your dashboard. Dashboards in Tableau are interactive as well. You can make changes directly in your dashboard, which will reflect in your worksheet too. Finally, you can also sum up everything in the form of a story. Just the way we found out that there was an imbalance among birth rate and population in Africa. 
And the best part in Tableau is that in order to tell a story, you don't need a storyteller. You can view the story just by clicking ahead. And stories are also interactive. But let me tell you, even if you make any changes here, it will not reflect in your actual worksheets like that of dashboards. So these are the kind of things that you can do with Tableau. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!